Good morning everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, like you guys read in the title, we're going to be talking about Tesla stock. This stock got absolutely crushed this morning. We're also going to be doing a brief market update, taking a look at the stock market futures and hopping in very quickly and talking about a couple of other stocks and ETFs that I'm personally looking to trade today on the 4th of April in 2019. So let's just hop over here to the Safari tab very quickly and we can see the market futures, they aren't looking too pleasant right now, right? We're not looking too green, not looking too red. Kind of a boring morning this morning here. The S&P's down about a dollar. NASDAQ's down about $12, $13 here. And the Dow Jones is up about $8. So that is... Not looking too good, not looking too bad, just kind of meh, you know, kind of boring, just really just consolidating at the levels where we closed yesterday. But the thing I wanted to talk about here, and I do have two articles pulled up, is Tesla stock, guys. Tesla stock tanked this morning. Before we look at the articles, let's just take a look at the stock itself. Take a look at this. We were at $296 either yesterday or the day before, and we've literally tanked all the way down to $261 per share, which is putting us right at the bottom, the support level of this channel here in terms of Tesla. And if we hop back over here, we can talk about why this happened. I'm sure a lot of you guys read the news, especially you avid Tesla investors and Tesla followers, but Tesla delivers fewer vehicles than expected in the first quarter. So we can see here the shares tumbled 9% in pre-market hours on Thursday after the electric uh, car maker said it delivered about 63,000 models or vehicles rather in the first quarter, significantly fewer than the analysts expected. And this is something big right here regarding the Model 3. Anal analysts surveyed uh, you know, have expected 76,000 deliveries with about 54,600 of those being Model 3 sedans, said only about 50,900 Model 3s were delivered. So in my opinion, this is the catalyst that dropped the stock, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree, right? We expected the Model 3 to be stronger, and they delivered pretty, uh, you know, a pretty significant amount lower than what you know, the analyst said, I guess off the top of my head, I can say this is about 7%, 8% lower than the expected, which was again about $54,600. And another thing that's worth noting here, and I think it's the same thing in this article that's written, is the sales volume from last year have dropped. Yes, the same exact thing. We can see here 31%, right? Deliveries ended up being 31% less than the previous quarter when Tesla also missed analyst expectations but, uh, but still delivered 90,700 vehicles including 61,394 Model 3s. So the end of at the end of the day guys, you know, Tesla missed on the Model 3 deliveries and their sales year over year have dropped as well <clears throat> by 31%. And this is what is, you know, really sending the stock tumbling this morning. But in my opinion, this is actually opening up a pretty interesting opportunity for a rebound in the stock. And we might not get that rebound today, guys. Honestly, I was talking in the chat this morning saying how, you know, these shares could tumble into the market open. But once we find a bottom in Tesla stock, whether it be today, Friday, maybe even next week, this could be a good opportunity, an interesting opportunity for a swing trade, whether it be, you know, we hold this level here, which honestly, I don't know if we will because these shares again might tumble, but let's say if we retest 250 to 255, which if we look on the longer term charts here on Tesla, you know, this has been a very strong support. You can see here around 250, 255, we bounced a couple of times. You know, if we do end up retesting that level today, you know, this could potentially be an interesting opportunity, especially for those that you know, are, are, you know, interested in 
swing trading or maybe even building a position in Tesla. And another interesting thing, I don't know if it's in this article, but there was an article that I found earlier this morning that showed a bunch of analyst opinions from the big banks. I don't know if you guys saw that article. I don't have it pulled up here, but you know, do some research and find that article. It had like Citibank, you know, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs. A lot of people actually, you know, lowered their price targets, you know, in terms of Tesla, in terms of uh, you know, the big banks, but a lot of them still have it, um, you know, uh, issued as a buy right now, but even though they dropped their targets, I think, uh, I think it was like gold. No, uh, what was it? I forget the exact bank. But one bank dropped their target from like 415 to about 395, but they still had it as a buy due to their belief of model three stimulating more demand at the lower price that it is, especially in, you know, other foreign markets. And this is something that I do agree with, which is why I'm personally still bullish on Tesla. So this is something that again is super interesting. I want to see where we're going to bottom out this morning. You know, I think we're going to sell off, but let's say we bottom out. This could be a spot where maybe even I start buying uh, some shares as a swing. I'll let you guys know, you know, later on in the video um, and, and later on today, of course, I will let you guys know that. So in, ten, in terms of Tesla, this is definitely the first stock that I'm watching this morning. We saw a big dump today in gold, guys. We saw a huge dump into the 1280s this morning. And if we hop over here to the 20 day one hour, we can see, you know, we started to consolidate yesterday. I thought there was going to be some hope around 1296, which was a support from a couple of weeks ago and a couple of days ago. But now we're seeing this huge $7 drop this morning, 0.5% of a drop, and it's continuing to fall, looking like a falling knife right now. And honestly, guys, in terms of gold and what we trade, JDST and JNUG, JDST, which is the bear ETF that goes up in price when gold is selling off, is looking like a pretty decent uh, you know, bet this morning, especially if we start to make our way to the next support, which in this case is going to be 12 80. So keep an eye on gold this morning. Are we going to start to push down to 1280? I think it's possible. We're seeing a bearish cross here, the 50 crossing below the 180 simple moving average. Again, that's a bearish move. So just keep an eye there, you know, on uh, the gold futures here. So crude oil is another one that's pretty interesting right now, right? We saw how crude oil popped up to about 63 ish dollars here. We pulled back and we found a bottom here, support, and now we're popping up. This is looking like like a bull flag in my personal opinion and if this one you know starts making its way closer to this resistance here and we pop out of there you know uwt can be a very very good trade and if you want to hop in uh, into uwt now you know on this way back up that might be a pretty good idea as well but again don't just do that based on my opinion this is just you know my opinion my analysis it's looking like uw or uh, crude oil did find a bottom here and we're slowly starting to push up but for all i know for all we know no one knows it's going to happen you know we could end up selling off in crude oil and retesting that 6150 level but which wouldn't be that bad because in that case we're just going to be opening up even more margin on UWT, right? So that's what I'm watching. Crude oil, UWT, looking pretty solid this morning. In terms of, uh, what's the other one I talked about yesterday? At V, ticker symbol ATVI, Activision Blizzard. This one is very close to where I want it to be before I start adding some shares. And that is going to be at around $48.20 if we break this resistance, maintain it as a new support here. And from there, guys, from about $48 up to about $51, which is the next resistance from back, when, when was this? Uh, the beginning of January and the middle towards the end of November. You know, that's going to give us about a 6% margin of profit there on ATVI. Very worth watching, in my opinion, especially if we break that level uh, you know, of resistance. So natural gas is one that's kind of been, you know, really just hovering around this level of uh, 267, 265, 266 over the past couple of days here. But in terms of, uh, you know, this five day, five minute, the trend is still very 
bearish, right? So let's say, you know, we end up breaking out of this trend today. This could be a move in you guys, right? And of course, the natural gas report is today and at 1030 Eastern Standard. So keep an eye on natural gas to see where the report pushes it in terms of uh, technicals here. That's going to point to us whether we're going to trade the bull ETF, which is you guys, or the bear ETF, which is D gas ticker symbol D G a Z. So keep an eye on those guys. In terms of stocks this morning, you know, the main ones I'm watching are at V, of course, Tesla. Let's take a look at NVIDIA very quickly this morning because this one is looking like it's pulling back a bit. I want to see if it's going to retest the 186, 187-ish level of support. Maybe at that point, if we do pull back a bit more, retest that level, I might build a position in terms of NVIDIA, but I'm not going to uh, you know, pull the trigger too quick on this because we are noticing it's a bit overbought here. Even if we do pull back and slowly retest 185 i'm still going to be cautious because you know what if what if we pulled back down to the one to the 50 sma even if we broke that level you know this is something that could possibly happen especially if we have a red day maybe today or tomorrow so i'm going to be a bit cautious because i did take about a six percent profit on nvidia we are a bit overbought but who knows, guys, you know, if we do end up aggressively bouncing up above this level, you know, maybe I'll build a position there today. So one more very quickly before I do end off this video, Facebook is looking like it's filling that gap from yesterday uh, this morning, right? And it's looking like very aggressively, honestly, it's filling that gap. And we talked about how it's looking like it's trading between 171 and 180. And we pulled back yesterday, again, opening up that margin. We talked about Facebook in yesterday's video. And now it's looking like we're pretty much all the way up to 177. So let's say Facebook sees a little pullback market open. This could be a nice little entry point for a swing back up to 180. I'm watching that very, very closely this morning as well. So I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to go down below, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing subscribing, hit that red button as well as the notification bell so you're notified every time that I do make a video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Is Tesla stock a buy here? Are we going to continue to run down towards the market open? Are you buying stocks of Tesla today? Um, you know, I would love to know down below in the comment section. And of course, I have two links down below for, the, for those of you guys that don't know, both of them being free. Discord group chat, as well as a Facebook group. Join those communities. I guarantee you guys you'll find valuable information there. And I'll catch you guys in there if you do end up joining the communities and we'll chat. Hope you guys have a good day today. Good luck. Peace out.